Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today I want to do a quick little comparison video on Microsoft's new Hyperlapse program. So they've been working on this for a little while now and they just released it a few days ago. So I'm going to test Microsoft's Hyperlapse program against Adobe Premiere's Warp Stabilizer. So I have uh, one shot and I shot it at 60 frames per second using my GoPro at 1080p. And what I'm gonna do is use the default settings on both programs and see how the two compare. Now in each program, I sped it up by eight times, so it's gonna be eight times faster than the original clip. So we're gonna do a little side-by-side -side so we can see how the two compare, and I'm also gonna do a nice little run-through so you can see exactly uh, the quality and how smooth each clip looks. So yeah, let's get into that right now. So I just wanted to quickly show you the original shot. Remember, this is sped up by eight times. This is shot at 1080p at 60 frames per second, and I'm riding my bike to get this shot. Now, this is the same exact clip with the warp stabilizer effect added. Now, I'm using the default settings. I didn't change anything. I just put the warp stabilizer effect right onto the clip, and we notice it's a lot smoother than the previous shot. And now, this is the Microsoft Hyperlapse clip. It's a lot smoother, I would say. It doesn't rotate as much as the warp stabilizer clip, uh, but we notice that the quality is reduced a bit and we get that watermark at the bottom right and that can't be removed at the moment. And here we get a better idea of what we're looking at with a side-by-side -side comparison. The warp stabilized shot is jumpy. The Microsoft Hyperlapse shot is very smooth. It's not jumpy at all. It, it kind of seems like the camera is stable. It's not going up and down. So this clip, when it's played back at its normal speed, is about 1 minute and 40 seconds. Now, the Microsoft Hyperlapse program took about 45 minutes to render the entire clip, and Warp Stabilizer took about the same exact time. So now this just all depends on your computer. If you have a better one than mine, it's going to be a lot quicker than 45 minutes. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It does take some time to render out these clips. So that's all I really wanted to cover in this quick little comparison between the Microsoft Hyperlapse program and Adobe Premiere Pro's built-in warp stabilizer. Microsoft also created an app for Android phones and Windows phones. So if you want to try those out, just uh, check out the link that I have in the description. And if you plan on using the Microsoft Hyperlapse program and decide to make a Hyperlapse, if you want to share them in the comment section down below. You can do that. I like to check them out. I want to play around with this a little bit more, but I'm really not liking that watermark that they place on the video. So in the near future, I think they're going to come out with a full release, which you're probably going to have to pay for. This is just a quick preview of the program. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a like if you found this helpful, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.